Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be doing fascia activations to work on dense fascia that accumulates in and around the back side of your shoulder and upper back. This particular fascia activation, we're going to be using different directions and different paces of movement. I know the work can be a little bit confusing in the beginning, knowing where to contract and what direction and where to move, but hang tight, keep practicing, and eventually the work will start to become intuitive for you. Today we're going to be down on the mat, so feel free to find a space or a mat, and that's it. No need for any extra tools or anything else. If you need a little extra cushion underneath your knees, feel free to roll up your mat at any point. Beginning first on your knees, knees are turned out and feet are together. Take a look at your distance here, and I want you to start to become aware of where your body's positioned. That becomes very important because it can tell a story about the shape of who you are, your positions you hold throughout the day, and your posture. When we start to notice variations from right and left, which we all have, it just gives us more information about how we can work with the body to start to find a little bit more balance and release dense fascia and scar tissue in areas that might be inhibiting more alignment that would cause for less aches and pains and less risk of injuries. Okay, knees apart, feet together. We're gonna come down onto your elbows. Palms are gonna be facing each other. Sorry about my band-aid on my finger. I uh, cut myself with a chef's knife last night. It happens to us all. Okay. Resist your hands down like you're karate chopping into the floor from your pinky all the way to your elbow. Resist it back as well as if the arms want to slide underneath you. Lift the rib cage up and bring your chin towards your throat. Once you have this set up, keep resisting the hands down into the floor, the elbows into the floor as you pull your hips back towards your heels. Relax, come forward, activate, keep your activation through your movement back. I'm going fairly slow here because I want you to really feel that connection. As you're pulling back, do you feel that the pinkies want to lift up off the mat? If so, try to connect them a little bit more thoughtfully and intentionally, keeping that focus on activation through movement. Let's do two more here. Pressing down, karate chop into the floor, pull back. One more time. Press it down, karate chop, pull back. Good. Open your elbows a little bit here and bring your hands apart. Still puff up the heart, press down into the floor, but focus a little bit extra now on your elbows. As you pull back, once you're almost as back as you feel like you have connection, lift your hands up. Dive the elbows down and pulse it back for five and four. Three, two, one. One, bring it back forward. Notice that my neck still had a slight chin tuck, so I don't want to be looking straight forward. That's going to put a little bit too much crunch in the back of your neck, which we want to try to avoid. If you want to scoot your arms forward a little bit and try it here, that might feel like you have more range of motion to go back. Karate chop down into the ground, set your posture, pull back, keep pressing down into the floor. Once you're back, let your hands come up, dive the elbows in 50-50. Pulses going back for five. Press the elbows in. Four, three, two, one. Bring it back forward. We have one more of these. Scoot forward a little bit more. Lifting up your posture. Press down into the floor and back. Pull back. Keep pulling back. Lift your hands up. Pulse it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Shake it out for a moment. Huh. I feel warm. Maybe because I have a sweatshirt on today. Okay, moving back down onto the elbows. This time you're gonna go palms up, elbows to the hands, down into the floor. You're gonna resist your arms out, like you're trying to reach your arms away from each other. And once we have that feeling, give it a resistance and hold it. Dip your right shoulder down to the floor, focusing a little extra on the right arm into the ground. You're gonna to look to the left with your head first. Hold that there, your right arm still plugging down. And then look to the right underneath you like you're looking back at your knee. And then look back to the floor and pulse it to the side for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back up. All right, moving to the next side. Resist your forearms out. Dip down to the left. 
you might see on me here, if you're watching, that I have to maneuver my body slightly different because I'm really locked up on my rib cage on my left side. It doesn't move the same way. Once you're down, you're gonna look to the right. You're plugging your left arm into the ground, left elbow into the ground. Dive that left elbow further into the ground as you look underneath you and back. Notice where the work changed, how it moved. Look back at the floor and you're gonna pulse it to the left. For five, left arm's plugging down, four, three, two, and one. Back up to center. Let it rest for a second. <sighs> Definitely feeling it in the back of the shoulders, upper back, clearing out all that tight area from that forward posture. It just gets so stuck in elongated muscles. We wanna work through that tissue so we can roll our shoulders back, set our shoulders. All right, one more time. Stay with me here, almost through it. All right, palms up. Resist forearms out, chin to the throat, tuck. Dip your right shoulder to the right. Really dive your right elbow and right hand into the ground. Looking to the left, dive your elbow a little bit more into the ground on the right as you look underneath and back. Breathe. Look down at the floor. You're pulsing to the right with your body for five. Arm is plugging in. Four, three, two, and one. Back up and over. Resist both arms out. Dip your left shoulder to the left. Looking to the right first. Hold that there. Really dive that left elbow into the ground. Keep diving the elbow in as you look to the side underneath you and back. <sighs> Breathe. Look back at the floor. Pulsing your body to the left for five. Maybe you have more space to move your rib cage. Four, three, two, and one. Back up to center. Roll it back. Shake it out. Take a moment to sit here and retract your shoulders. Let the rib cage fall over the pelvis. We want the ribs to move. We want the shoulders to move. But when we're trying to align ourselves, we want to feel what that's like. Once you have your shoulders set, chin to the throat, tuck. Rib cage stays in. Reach your arms up high. And exhale out to the side and down. Think of that. Space across the front of the chest one more time. Open it up. Feel the space and the muscles in the back contracting together to help keep your shoulders in their home. Shoulders lift up to the ears and down. One more time. Up and down. Awesome. Great job today. Thank you so much for trying the fascia activations with me. If you have any questions, please let me know. We'd be happy to help you out. It definitely feels unique for every person and where you feel it from right to left is unique as well. Enjoy the ride. I'm here for you and I'll be seeing you again soon. Thanks.